Heavenly Father, you pour out your spirit of grace and supplication on all who desire it. Deliver us now from all wanderings of mind and coldness of heart, that we may worship you with steadfast thoughts and kindled affection. Grant that all we do and say this day may be for thy greater glory and in service of our sisters and brothers in Jesus' name. Amen. Good afternoon. Welcome to Holy Trinity Church in Juneau, Alaska on this Tuesday, Pentecost week. We are about to celebrate and observe the order of service for noonday, which you may find in your Book of Common Prayer on page 103 or online at trinityjuno.org. Welcome and thank you for joining us. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today, we read... Psalm 48, which you can find in your prayer book, beginning on page 651, or in the bulletin, which is published online. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised in the city of our God is his holy hill. Beautiful and lofty, the joy of all the earth is the hill of Zion, the very center of the world and the city of the great king. God is in her citadels. He is known to be her sure refuge. Behold, the kings of the earth assembled and march forward together. They looked and were astounded. They retreated and fled in terror. Trembling seized them there. They writhed like a woman in childbirth like ships of the sea when the east wind shatters them. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, God has established her forever. We have waited in silence on your loving kindness, O God. In the midst of your temple, your praise, like your name, O God, reaches to the world's end. Your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion be glad in the cities of Judah rejoice because of your judgments. Make the circuit of Zion walk round about her. Count the number of her towers. Consider well her bulwarks, examine her strongholds, that you may tell those who come at her. This God is our God forever and ever. He shall be our guide forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Good 
day of reading the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 2, beginning at verse 16. And I said to myself that this also is vanity, for there is no enduring remembrance of the wise or of fools, seeing that in the days to come all will have become long forgotten. How can the wise die just like fools? So I hated life, because what is done under the sun was grievous to me, for all is vanity and a chasing after wind. I hated all my toil in which I had toiled under the sun, seeing that I must leave it to those who come after me, and who knows whether they will be wise or foolish. Yet they will be master all for which I toiled and used my wisdom under the sun. This also is vanity. So I turned and gave my heart up to despair concerning all the toil of my labors under the sun because sometimes one who's toiled with wisdom and knowledge and skill must leave all to be enjoyed by another who did not toil for it. This also is vanity and a great evil. What do mortals get from all the toil and strain with which they toil under the sun? For all their days are full of pain and their work is a vexation. Even at night their minds do not rest. This also is vanity. There is nothing better for mortals than to eat and drink and find enjoyment in their toil. This also I saw is from the hand of God, for apart from him, who can eat or who can have enjoyment? For to the one who pleases him, God gives wisdom and knowledge and joy. But to the sinner, he gives the work of gathering and heaping, only to give to one who pleases God. This also is vanity and a chasing after wind. Here ends the reading. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give to you. My own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you sent Jesus, your Son, to redeem us, to give us lives of meaning and service. Remind us, Lord, 
that we serve you. And bring us to that service with glad hearts and humility that we may hear your bidding walk your path and do your will. Keep us, Lord, ever mindful and ever responsive to the needs of others, that we may be your agents, that we may be your people in an economy of abundance, which is your love. The abundance that you provide is enough for all. Let us be your agents in this too, Lord, reminding us that all is vanity in the world and works of men. It's not a game of capture the flag in your kingdom, Lord. It's, it, it is an honor of servitude. Grant us your mercy, your grace, your love, and keep us in humility as your servants. We pray this in Jesus' name. This is the season, Lord, when the city of Juno and its wisdom has turned out the homeless, placing them back on the streets. Many there are gone to the campground and into the doorways after the respite they had in the initial days of the pandemic, which is only now reaching Alaska in force. Lord, we pray to you for protection for them for all. We pray for the reminder that as we the needs of others, so we make life harder for ourselves. Grant that we, O oh Lord, may be ever responsive to the needs of others. We give you thanks, O oh Lord, and joy for all you bring to us within the circle of your creation, for the beauty and splendor of that creation for our lives, which centered in, the, centered in the gospel, in the midst of that creation, lives of joy. We give you thanks, O Lord, for one another. Watch over us and keep us safe. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Offer your additional prayers aloud in your hearts at this time. we ask for your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Spirit bless you and keep you now and always. Amen.